What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. I want to make a quick video on taking good care of your gear. As most of you guys know, scuba gear can be kind of expensive. Um, in the long run it's not, but up front it, it does tend to be kind of expensive and we want to take good care of it and get the uh, prolonged use out of it that of course we think we should get out of it. However, there's certain things in the industry that unfortunately we cannot control and one of the things that I can't control being where we're at is the water that we use to train in, our confined waters. We have to basically rent a pool to use because we don't have an in-house pool and so that pool is very heavily chlorinated and I want to show you why it's so important to keep your gear clean. I'm going to show you three different wetsuits I've got here and all three of them are mine. One is brand spanking new, one is less than six months old, and the other one is less than a year old. So it's around that 10, 11 month mark. And I go through wetsuits at least three or four times a year because I'm in a pool pretty much five to six to seven days a week, give or take. And so I want to show you my personal suits that I use when I'm in a swimming pool and I want to show you just how quickly I go through them because of chlorine and what chlorine can do. It's so detrimental to our gear and it's so very important that you wash your gear. Now even if you washed your gear every single time that you went diving, uh, I even do the same thing. I want to show you how bad chlorine can be on your scuba gear. So let's take a quick look. All right, guys, so this is the first suit here. This is brand spanking new, straight off the shelf. I uh, pulled this off about five minutes before starting this video here, and I'm actually going to be using this suit here in about an hour to take a checkout student out into the lake to do their checkout dives. Um, but this is brand spanking new. I want you to see just how dark the black is, a lot of flexibility in the suit, a lot of elasticity still in the neoprene. This suit here is actually less than about five months old. I believe I picked up this suit in April, so we got May, June, July, August, September, so it's five months old. Uh, but you can already kind of tell a difference here between the dark gray and the light gray. Um, and these come from the same lots, guys. It, it's not like this suit's four or five years old. It's five months old. But you can already see what the chlorine's starting to do. Um, if I flip it over here, you're going to go ahead and see some of the elasticity. Now, I wear a back plate and wing a lot, so you'll see the crotch area is already starting to wear down. And I also want to show you the knee area um, where the elasticity of the suit itself is just breaking apart, and it's because of chlorine. Chlorine is so detrimental on our scuba gear, and it's very important that we take good care of it and we wash it. Um, and you'll notice that the actual knee pads, it's not from kneeling down on the bottom or anything like that because the knee pads would be tore up. It's the actual suit. It's the chlorine where it's got into the fibers of the suit and it's just broke down the elasticity of it. And it's just, chlorine is just so detrimental and it's so very important that we take good care of our gear uh, because it, it is life safety gear. Even even your exposure suits, your wetsuit, stuff like that, it's still exposed, or your exposure suit's still life safety gear and it's very important that we take good care of it. Now, if I go over here to the third suit, guys, this suit, I think I got in January of this year. Um, and as you can see, we're, we're in what the ninth month now, and it is just flat ruined. Um, and the only time I wear this is if I'm doing checkout dives, say in the lake or in the pool. And of course the lake, we always wash our gear immediately after exiting the lake, just like we do when we get out of the pool. However, look how white the suit is. It's the literally the exact same suit as these two here. So we went from this dark black to this bleached out, uh, grayish black to white. And all that is just a bleaching process from the chlorine. You can see uh, I do wear a backplate and wing, and you can see where the shoulder straps have just dug in. Once the elasticity goes away, it just digs in through the material. Um, personally, I wouldn't even use this suit again just for a patch job. If I needed to patch, say, a hole in one of these other suits, I wouldn't even trust this neoprene here uh, as a patch job because of how... Um, worn down it is from from being in chlorine and it's not just the wetsuits in general it's any neoprene product it's any um cordoa product that we use anytime you dive in chlorine chlorine is so detrimental if i come over here to my boots these are my current boots that i'm wearing with a wetsuit now um and they're still in great shape they're a little dirty i, I did some checkout dives yesterday with them here in the lake and fix them put on again to do some checkout dives but you can see they're they're still nice and black there's plenty of stretch left in the material um, nothing you know is wrong with them in any way shape or form but here's the ones that I, I bought them right there to replace these I'm pull them over here and let you see them uh, they're just wore flat down I mean it, the, the chlorine has literally just ate the boots alive uh, I've got holes here in the side where the chlorine has just ate them alive guys 
So I, I hope you see just how detrimental chlorine can be to your scuba gear. And if you're forced to use a chlorinated pool, just like we are currently, then it's so very important to wash your gear. Um, one of the gear washes that I use, of course, is this Pal Palau stuff. I've been using this stuff for about four or five years, and I really, truly like it. Um, however, I mean, it doesn't matter what gear wash you choose to use for your gear. It, it's going to wear down, guys, over time. And I hope you get more use out of yours than what I did. Unfortunately, being in the scuba industry, being a scuba instructor, and teaching literally seven days a week, this is what can happen. You can go from a brand spanking new suit to a, a obviously a used up suit, and you see where the straps are starting to wear in here, where the chlorine is just tearing up the elasticity to this right here within a year. So you see what I go through within a year's time frame. Three different wetsuits. Um, I'm on my second set of boots this year. So it's so very important that we take good care of our gear. Remember, it's not only your exposure suit, it's also your life safety suit. Not only it protects you from the environment and the sun rays and stuff like that, it's also going to keep you warm when you're underwater, keep blood shunting <clears throat> from occurring, so it allows you to stay a little bit longer underwater. So, guys, definitely take good care of your gear. I just wanted to show you these suits and show you exactly what chlorine can do to neoprene products. So there you go, guys. I hope you can see just why it's so very important that we take good care of our gear. Like I said, these three suits, this one's brand spanking new. This one's about five months old, and this one's less than a year. It's right around that 10, 11 month mark. So it's it's crazy just how uh, detrimental chlorine can be to your gear. And it's so very important that you wash your gear uh, properly. You hang it up in a cool, dry place to dry. Don't hang it out in the sun where the ultraviolet rays uh, are going to get to it. And most likely than not, you're, you're not going to go through suits the way I do it. You just got to understand I'm in a pool pretty much seven days a week. Uh, in the future, I'm going to make a video on what my everyday uh, journey as a diver is like. How I, what I do in the mornings, what I do in midday, when I go to the pool, how I teach. Um, I just got to plan out the right day for it when I got time to film all day long. But I want you guys to see just how many suits I go through in a year just simply because of what chlorine can do to a wetsuit. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, definitely share it. Uh, it means so much to us when you share our videos and definitely hit that like button for us. If you got any questions on how to clean your gear, I'll put several links down in the description below on videos on how we personally clean gear. If you wanna see the Pow Palau um, in person or, or how we use it, uh, definitely I'll, I'll link that video down there as well. But if you got any questions, please put it down below. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.